test run. Alright, today is the day. We're not going to really video much of this falling down because we're going to have a lot of people here helping us out. But uh, we rented a 50 foot boom and uh, we're just waiting on everybody to show up. But be saying goodbye to the sycamore tree. There goes the cassava. Right. it's the next day we got it all down um, we're still gonna cut this we just uh, got it to where it needs to be for right now and then we're going to take the logs and make another small raised bed but as you can tell kind of looks it, it, it looks amazing We'll be able to get sunshine over here because a lot of water pools underneath the uh, house on this end. That's why the AC unit is up off the ground and all the black tubing that's for our AC is up off, up off the ground as well. It's on blocks. And uh, we're going to be, um, once we get done with this area, we're going to be planting um, banana trees in here to help with the control with the water. And we had a lot of help. Uh, my parents came, uh, we had uh, family friends come over and we also trimmed up the trees you can see over there. We just, um, not much of a difference, but all the low hanging trees we cut off and you can see lots more sun over there. It's not even eight o'clock and i'm already sweating it's hot but the reason why we had to cut this tree down this sycamore one um not that we love the tree don't get me wrong i loved it because it was the only tree here in florida that actually changes colors <laughs> um but it's near the septic mound. We did not plant this tree here. When we moved in, the tree was only, wasn't even as tall as the house. It was just a small, and they said it would stay a small, it was a small bush. Um, they just wanted it for shade. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, obviously we've been here for six years. It got over 50 feet tall. And the roots were running into our septic into our, our leach field so that was the main reason we cut it down was because we're doing preventive maintenance when we go to finish cutting the stump we're going to cut around it too and cut all those roots um show you right there right here is one of the roots and as you can tell it's huge and it goes here and then it makes a turn and I tripped over it in that area this 
past winter. So that's the reason it had to go. Um, it had three arms. The first two arms we made into a raised bed. And then this is the third arm. And we're going to do a small raised bed. We'll probably put it right in this area here. Um, but once we cut the roots away from the tree itself, the roots will eventually die and decay. And we won't have to worry about the, um, the septic. All right. And then here is over by the animal pens. Everybody gets a little bit more sun. And they're still in the shade. But... We just couldn't get it to where those uh, branches are hanging down. That's kind of what this whole area looked like. We just couldn't get the boom back into that area. And then we lined the ditch so that way my animals can go ahead and root around in it without worrying about so much. But this place looks so much nicer. It's so much more open. And the sun during the heat of the day in the summer is over here. So they're still going to get plenty of shade. But during the winter time, when the sun comes up, it comes up over here. So my next goal is to get these pine trees cut down. Because during the winter time, I want it, them to have more sun. So they warm up. So my animals get warm faster. And then some enjoyment I found. I have elderberries. All through this. Look, this one's fully loaded. So I will be harvesting elderberries. I'm actually kind of glad I got, we did buy an elderberry tree. It's over here. So I guess it bloomed one season and we weren't paying attention. And I have now elderberries all in this area here, along with the beauty berries. Look, well, there's more. And I have to find a way to get in here. I might have to have Donald. That's elderberry there too. I'll have to have Donald come help me. <laughs> but yep, elderberry. I'm going to make a... I'm going to cut them, freeze them, and then when I get a big enough bag, I'll pick through them and start dehydrating them. But yeah, they're all, they're all in here. And then we have more banana blooms. I have a total of six racks, and I just saw this one today, this morning. Let me get up the steps real quick. Yep, right out my front door. And then that one over there is right out my bedroom door or bedroom window.